Tomorrow marks the beginning of the holiest day of the Jewish calendar, Yom Kippur. And one local delicatessen says it's facing a shortage in food and containers due to a supply chain issue being felt nationwide. King 5's Callie Greenberg looks at how a shortage in truck drivers is impacting what we eat. One way to visualize this supply chain issue is through a box of gloves. I'm told that before the pandemic, this box cost about six bucks. Now it's 12 to $14, showing that there is cost increase as well as higher supply demand. They weren't on the shelves. And what's funny is you can't get the lids. At Dingfelder's Delicatessen in Capitol Hill, the Jewish high holidays means it is the busy season. During any Jewish holiday, we're crazy busy. This holiday season is unique as the deli navigates an issue the entire food service industry is facing, food and supply shortages due to a nationwide shortage in truck drivers. Portion cups are something that you just can't get. Owner Vance Dingfelder said the supply issue has him buying up what he can when he can, but they're still running out of items. My supplier said to me, I couldn't buy Tyson fried chicken. When you can't buy Tyson fried chicken, it's what they built their company on. Trucks transport 70% of all the goods moved across the country. The pandemic added to a labor shortage with many drivers retiring. The average age of a truck driver is 48. Everything goes back to staff, labor. Vance says not only is he struggling to find products, but the increased demand means an increase in price. Every item that I purchase this year versus last year is increased at least 20 to 25 percent. The Labor Department says prices for consumer goods rose less than expected in August. Vance had to raise his prices this spring and he hopes he doesn't have to do it again. Things are going to get better. I know they're going to get better. I have faith. In Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.